Hello everyone, I'm sorry if you can hear the rain outside, it is super gloomy today and I am still a little bit sick, I don't know if all of you guys know, you probably don't. I caught a cold over a week ago and it's still lingering, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice or not. I feel like I'm starting to get better but holy crap it's just lasting forever, I swear everyone is getting sick. I'm just like a bit nasally and just like feeling a bit tired and everything. So I took last week off, like I still uploaded because I had some pre-filmed content but yeah. I just wanted to get back into filming today so here I am, hopefully it's not annoying but anyways today we are doing a full face of Shop Miss A makeup. I did actually do this years ago um, and I vaguely remember finding a whole lot of fails and a couple of good things as well. So basically on Shop Miss A almost everything is like one dollar or a couple of dollars like it's all very very cheap. They do ship to New Zealand as well obviously and I'm hoping that today we can find some really good affordable stuff. You know even if there's like a whole lot of fails if there's a couple of things that are really really good for only like a dollar or two like jump on it you know. So I've got this primer spray. Part of proceeds go towards supporting kids education. It's cruelty free. Hold the A plus primer spray about 12 inches from your face and spray around several times. Allow time to dry before applying makeup on top. So this goes for $1.88 as well as the setting spray. I've got the same setting spray. The packaging is actually really really cute. I like it. So this is how the actual packaging looks. It's in a little spray bottle. Let's just like spray it on my hand and see how it smells because that's like a big thing with setting sprays. Sometimes they just smell real like alcoholy. This one doesn't. It almost smells like nothing really and it feels really really finely misted as well. Oh my God, I'm sorry about my feet tanned, it's like so patchy. <laughs> I just like threw it on because I just looked so sick. This morning when I woke up I was like okay I need a feet tan, I need to wash my hair, I need to put on makeup. <laughs> like I've had enough. And no it is not COVID. Hamish got way sicker than me and he had some of the COVID symptoms so he went and got tested even though we haven't been exposed to any of like the COVID clusters we just thought oh well just in case somehow but yeah he doesn't have it so it's just a freaking annoying cold oh it sprays quite a lot on the face okay when I've actually got it on my face right when I spray it it kind of smells like like aloe vera or something like that like it's not yuck no I can't smell it like it kind of just like smells straight away and then it's gone so it's not a super strong smell um, it feels really refreshing. It does kind of like douse your face like it sprays a lot So you only need a couple of sprays like it kind of feels like I've got some areas that are wetter than others So the concealer I picked up. I'm pretty sure I've tried this back in the day um, It's the HD concealer wonder cover by AOA studio oh my God, I just like am pulling off the plastic <laughs> Came apart. So they're obviously the packaging is not like the best quality. What do you expect for that kind of price point? Still try out the actual product and give it a fair chance. So this color I picked up is called yellow. Now one issue I had when I was shopping on the website is so much stuff is sold out. Like so many shades. Um, so I really kind of had to just get what I could in some cases and this was one of those cases. So these do go for just one dollar. It looks like there's only like three shades left in stock right now while I'm filming this. And there is a tiny, tiny, tiny doe foot applicator. It's actually really tiny. I'm just going to go around the brows over these scars. These are not like active breakouts. They're just kind of like bright red scars right now. Like they're kind of gone. Okay, the formula of this feels so, so thick, like very moussey or something like that. I'm just going all the way around. It's not very liquidy. It's very creamy. I'm just going to take my concealer brush, Bakes of Beauty, and spread this out. It's quite hard to blend because it's so thick. I think you'd want to work quite quickly and just do like one eye at a time. So it has that quite dry texture. This concealer compared to like other concealers I have I can definitely tell it's not like my favorite just because it does look very dry on it the skin and I don't really like that look especially around the eye area it can just kind of age you a little bit because it grips onto like all of that texture. Um, it's not smoothing it whatsoever so hopefully <laughs> under the eyes it doesn't make me look super old but I guess we're about to find out. Other than the texture itself the actual product actually has really good coverage. Um, the color is like kind of okay obviously it's quite yellow but you know it's not too bad and it doesn't bleed because it is quite thick so it just kind of stays where you put it which is handy. Whatever's left on my brush I'm just going to smack on these breakouts to see how the coverage is. Perhaps like if you have like a super super hydrated base it wouldn't look so cakey but oh 
Let me zoom you in and see if you can see what I mean. It's definitely not a favorite. It does feel heavy. I feel like it looks like paint. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just not my favorite. And no, I'm not trying to dog on purpose on any of these products. We're going to try and give them a fair go. And I'm not looking at my opinions last time either, just for the products I've already used before, because I want to see if they've changed. It was a long time ago. But yeah, even like in my brush, like it's just like caked up my brush. It's just not a vibe. Oh, it really, oh my god, it feels awful. Ugh, I feel like every time I blink, my eyelids are getting stuck together. Okay, I feel like I just want to go ahead and chuck on the base now, just so I can like set everything and hopefully once I set it, it won't feel so yuck. So, first I do have a proper primer instead of just like the primer spray, which my skin just kind of feels normal, like it doesn't really feel like it's got anything on it. Is that a good thing? Like, maybe. It looks very fresh and glowy though, like I feel like it looks a little bit more glowy than it did in the start of the video so yeah I don't like hate this I don't know if it really does much oh my god I just feel like I look so sick right now okay let's yeah cover up everything one dollar and I really like the packaging you get how many mil I don't know how many mil but it's 0 0.67 fluid ounces I don't know if that's like a normal amount or not the consistency looks really nice like it looks like the kind of moisturizing kind of type of primer that I do usually go for it smells kind of like floral maybe. <laughs> Once again though, it's a very subtle scent. It's not super, super bright and offensive. Bright? Strong is probably the word I was looking for there. It feels kind of like thick. Like it kind of feels like it's like filling in my pores, but it doesn't feel silicone-y. Like it feels moisturizing. Almost like a balm moisturizer, like a gel kind of Maybe a gel. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit in and then get the foundation ready. I've got two shades here. This is the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. There's another foundation that Taylor Wynn raves about. I can't, I don't think it's this one. I think it's a different one. But this is the only one I could get any shades that might match me. And even then, like, I think they're probably too pale. They look nice. Like, the packaging looks really nice. It's in like a glass package dropper like you know looks kind of legit okay one thing that's kind of annoying is like the shade is on the plastic instead of the freaking actual bottles so i'm gonna try and peel the sticker off which worked okay that's good and we're gonna stick it oh, okay now it's not gonna stick is it i might have to glue it on anyways i think i'm gonna use 305 pure beige today how much is this one i think this is a dollar 88 comes in, in quite a few different skin tones except most of them are sold out is that a good sign that they're sold out like do people love this oh i just scraped like my scissors to get the plastic off on the like the glass and it gave me the shivers literally goosebumps. I don't know if you can see Ooh, the worst sound ever I'm gonna get a sponge ready because usually I do use a sponge. Let's do a sponge before and after and it says to shake this up Well, I'm gonna do this much. I don't know if this is way too much or way too little I'm hoping that the Concealer will work better with a sponge too since it is like real thick and kind of dry like maybe with a sponge It'll go on smoother. We'll try that next. It looks really pretty really glowy as well I feel like I might end up using quite a bit of product. I mean when do I not though? It's definitely what it says. It's buildable I feel like I'm going to end up using a couple of layers. It says on here the A plus satin foundation is a lightweight liquid formula that delivers buildable coverage and a long-lasting natural finish so I'm just bouncing this out. I actually feel like with this formula, a brush would work really well as well. It'd be really lightweight and quick just to buff on with like a big kabuki brush. And compared to the concealer, it is so lightweight and it feels so much more comfortable. Like this one does not feel uncomfortable. So I'm gonna start building it up a little bit. I do feel like you get quite a lot of time to blend this out. It doesn't seem to like self set very quickly at all. Yeah, the coverage is like decent. I'd say you can build it to like a nice, medium. I can tell you right now though, like around my eye area, that concealer looks so heavy. I'm going to zoom you all the way in so you can kind of see how the skin looks up close with the foundation on in the dark. Can you see the difference in like the texture on my eyelids? It looks like paint like I said, whereas you know, this foundation looks really smooth. I'd say if you want like a super full coverage, it's not really like for you, but if you like something a little bit more natural that you can build up to get like a bit more coverage, then that's what this is. It's not bad. Now while you are zoomed in on my face, <laughs> welcome. Let's just do some concealer under the eyes. I'm hoping, like I said, this will go on smoother now. Who knows? So tapping it out on top of the obviously primer, the foundation, and with a sponge, like, oh, can you see that? It's so chunky. 
I'm gonna have to like kind of swipe it to really get it to blend out properly. I just really don't like that. Like the foundation, the primer and everything, they felt okay on the skin. This, however, is just, it doesn't feel like something I should be putting around my eyes. It feels too intense and too tacky and too thick. Like it's literally just like separating and sinking into my lines already. It is, however, kind of good on my waterline because it's so sticky and thick, like it kind of just like stuck on there. So I'm weird and I like to conceal the pink on my <laughs> waterline with concealer. Okay, yeah, the concealer is a no from me, but the foundation, I mean, it's worth giving a go. Like my skin looks really nice, look at that. I feel like we're about to turn a different color now because well, maybe I'm gonna have to use this darker powder. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing at Press Party. You get eight grams of product in here. The shade's Honey and the shade's Nude. These go for one dollar. I just don't feel like this color's gonna be very good. One thing to note, the packaging is definitely very cheap. It's very plasticky and like all of the writing just kind of like peels straight off. I've not even, like I've literally just put the plastic off of this. And I don't know if you can see, but like the writing's starting to like peel off. So, but if the product is good, then we'll let that slide, obviously. So I'm going to just bounce this on top of the foundation. Oh wait, I've got a contour stick as well. I'll just do my forehead. Oh my God, look at my eyelids. I just hate that concealer so much. We have this little guy right here. This is a little contour stick. So these go for $1 as well. And I got this shade Nude. There are different ones for different skin tones, which is great. And I feel like this is like the perfect kind of you know, depth for me, because I don't want it to be too dark. So, let's give it a try. Oh god, it's so shadow. Like, that's really good for a contour shadow, but even for me, usually I go a little bit warmer, just because I feel like it's flattering on my face. But hey, I'm going to take this dual petal brush and use the petal side to blend this. Like, it definitely looks like a shadow, but it makes me look sick. Do you know what I mean? Like, maybe once we put powder on top, it'll be alright. I'm just going to roll with it and hope for the best. I have to say, it's easy to blend. It's super pigmented. So, the quality itself is okay. It's just the colour's a bit off for me. I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this powder. And tap it over top of the contour. You know what? Like, straight away, that actually helped a lot. Because you can still see the shadow, but it just makes it less grey. The powder, I don't know, it's very powdery. <clears throat> I feel like it's getting stuck in my throat. It's quite dry looking. My whole eye area just looks so, so dry. I'm just gonna, now that I've like pressed it on, I'm gonna kind of buff it. And just see if we can like get it to sink in a little bit. I definitely feel like I've got a lot of makeup on. Like, you know when you've just got like powders and stuff on and they just feel like there, you know, it's definitely heavy. I thought I bought bronzer, but maybe I didn't. So I think I'm gonna use a different bronzer just because I want all of the other products to look like as good as possible. <laughs> I wanna give them a fair try. So I yeah, I feel like I bought a bronzer. Maybe they didn't pack it, but oh well. I'm just gonna use what's right in front of me, my Nabla Saint Tropez bronzer, just to add some color to my face. We really need it. Even though like my face is too dark for me right now, it still just looks flat because it is very flawless. Like the powder definitely added quite a bit of coverage, which is a plus, a positive, but it just doesn't feel very nice on my face. And obviously the color is definitely not quite right. You can see that very clearly. So hopefully adding a bit of bronzer will just kind of disguise that a touch. I don't think we can like fix it, but I think we can make it a little bit better. Blush. We have this beautiful color right here. This is called Wispy and it's the perfect blush. It's teeny tiny, really cute. These go for one dollar as well. I actually love the look of this color. I really hope it turns out. So I'm gonna pop that just on the back using the same brush as I used my bronzer on. I like to do that just because I feel like it makes everything blend a little bit more flawless. Honestly, that is so pretty. I love the color. It doesn't look powdery, even though it is like a matte formula. It doesn't look like super powdery and heavy looking. It just looks pretty. It just sits on the skin like exactly how you would want it to. And the actual color itself is just stunning. Like I love, 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 love that tone. So that is a definite yes from me. Even though the packaging is really small, like heaps of my blushes are like, it's kind of the same size as my makeup store ones. And it's a little twist lid. This packaging actually feels a bit more sturdy than the like powder. So 
you know. And then for highlighter, I've actually got two here. Do you see what I mean about the writing? Like, obviously just unwrapped this and all of the writing's almost gone. This one is called Sunstone Halo. I've also got the Velour Highlighter in Boys, which I'm leaning more towards this one because it's a similar size to the blush and I don't know, like, I just liked the blush, so I kind of want to try this one. I think it's like a mousse. It's not like a powder, so this goes for one dollar as well. Ooh, what the heck? I like unwrapped the plastic off, and can you see this? It's like wet. It's almost like the products all like leaked out of the actual packaging. Like, even the writing look, it's like got all dark. <laughs> okay, it's like yeah, completely melted. Why do I always have the worst light with these videos? I don't know. I'm gonna try it anyway. So yeah, it feels like a liquidy kind of texture, like a cream eyeshadow. It's just god i have to say even though that powder feels heavy af look at this it's like disguised my pores like you can't even see my pores it just looks heavy but like it looks smooth yo like that's so smooth so there's pros and cons to the powder still i probably wouldn't use it again just because i don't like the way it actually feels on my face by far the worst product today is that concealer. The rest is like passable or like some of them are actually good. Like I think the foundation's good. I think the blush is good. Powder's like okay. So let's tap this. Ooh, the color is stunning. Like a tan champagne, I don't know. I don't know, it looks like this. And a little bit goes a really long way. It's easy to blend on top of the powder as well, which is really good. Cause you know, sometimes they go real weird on top of powder, but this one is just like blending out so easy. You do get a few like patches of glimmer, like shimmer, that separate off and they look a little bit like stray, <laughs> but hey, like I still think it looks really pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit to the tip of my nose, maybe a little bit just here. I think this would look so nice on the eyes. We might use some on our eyes. We'll see. We'll see how we go. It looks a little bit heavy on this side. I think I applied it a little bit too much, but on this side it looks really nice. So yeah, other than the fact that it's like melted everywhere, I think it's just like bad packaging for the product. Other than that, it still works really well. I'm surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Oh my god, I'm getting my period in. Oh, holy shit, the cramp right now is real. I really just want to stop filming and go curl up in a ball on the couch, but no, I'm not letting it control my life like that. God, I swear like in the last maybe six months, my periods have gone from like bad to like holy shit bad. And it's the worst. Mm -hmm. Right now that <clears throat> all of far out that hurts. All of the um, powders are on, so let's chuck on some setting spray before we do our eyebrows. And the setting spray looks the same as the primer spray, except it's in like a pink packaging. It looks so cute. Honestly, if I didn't have that concealer on and I just had like a different concealer, and if it all matched, my face would look high end. I think. Well, I mean, yeah. A little bit too much highlighter, Shannon, but I look flawless. Okay, I'm gonna shake it up. Let's see if this helps to like do anything. I don't know. <sighs> okay, yeah, that just completely soaks you. Smells, once again, like floral or something. It's got a really soft scent. Um, and it sprays a lot at once, but it's still fine. It's just like you do get those wetter spots on your face. Fine droplets, just a lot of droplets. My under eyes are creasing like balls, literally. Like, ugh. oh my god, why? <laughs> okay, I need a quick break just to lie on the floor and sit in fetal position. Not because of how my under eyes look, although kind of that makes me want to crawl up into a little ball and just like cry, but no. The cramp. I cannot get over how like orange my head is. Oh, bless. I have an eyebrow pencil. I don't have a brow mascara and the only eyebrow pencil I could get is in the shade caramel. Luckily I don't really need much done to my brows at all because they are, you know, freshly-ish done. I need to go eat something so I can take some painkillers. I barely ever take painkillers because I just, I don't know, I just don't like take them all the time. But I really feel like I need a Panadol. <laughs> Listen to me a bitch for the next 10 minutes. Alright, so they've tried to do the little angled brow product thing, except it's so thick. So I'm going to try and use like one side. Mine's already like broken. I don't even know how, but let's give it a go. The color looks definitely a bit too warm for me. Hi. Oh, I know. It's just a rough day, isn't it? So the texture feels very waxy, which I do like. It's not too intense. Do you want to come say hello? Here is my dog. Got his tongue out and you can't really see. His name is Lily. He's a little bitch. He likes to cry all the time because he just wants cuddles. See, so yeah, I like the texture of it. The shape's a little bit awkward to use though because I see what they were trying to do but they've just kind of missed the mark. 
This is definitely, like I said, a little bit too warm for me, but it's not the worst thing because it is kind of a sheer formula, which I like, so it doesn't look like bright orange or anything like that. Like, it just kind of blends in. Honestly, not bad at all. I think if you have barely any eyebrows, though, and you're looking for something to give you really precise lines, it's not going to do that. It's more for people that just want to, like, fill in some gaps. Do you know what I mean? Now, on the eyes, I do want to just pop on some eye primer once again, just to give the eyeshadows a fair chance, because look at this mess right now. Like, my eyes are all wrinkly and just feel like shit. By the way, the eyebrow sculpting pencil is one dollar. They do have different ones as well, as well as like brow gels and things, but once again, I just had to get what I could that was in stock. And for the eyes, I have a whole lot of eyeshadows here. This is this A2O Date Night eyeshadow kit. So it comes with this like Z palette situation and then nine eyeshadows separately. So I'm just going to unwrap each one and pop them into the palette. So they come right basically just like makeup geek eyeshadows oh my god oh my god i'm so scared it's gonna smash so you get your eyeshadow this one's like a black kind of vibe <laughs> pops straight in its palette the palette has a mirror which is dope ten dollars nine eyeshadows and a z palette and a mirror like that's not bad all right so here's how i've designed mine i mean look at the color i'm wearing today this is meant to be i want to do something with a couple of these shades i haven't swatched them yet so let's go ahead for the first time together, it looks really pretty. Decent pigmentation. This one's like a soft kind of pinky, peachy duochrome almost. It's so nice. So yeah, taking the really pale, like nudie kind of color, I'm going to press that in my crease. Look at that, that's actually pretty. I wasn't expecting it to even be that pigmented. <laughs> so I'm putting on like a really decent amount of this. So yeah, this is a really easy to blend color. Like already I'm very impressed, so. Um, let's see how the next shade goes. Can someone please explain to me how I just spilt coffee like this? <sighs> what the heck is wrong with me today? Look, all my fake tans just like... <laughs> <laughs> and it's like wiped off my foundation. Uh... Alright, and then next up I'm going to take <laughs> this colour right here. I'm trying to stay positive, you know? Just really try. I'm going to put that on the outer and inner corner super pigmented and I really like the shade seems to be nice and easy to blend yeah can't see anything wrong with that the only thing is that the eyeshadow doesn't like stick super well like you can really easily like over blend and almost like get rid of the pigmentation because I just took this other blending brush to like blend out the edges. I've had to like reapply it twice, but that could also be because my eye base is so dry from the concealer, you know? So take that with a grain of salt. Okay, and then next up, I'm going to take the dark like copper shimmer color. So this is the first shimmer we're trying and yeah, it looks really pretty. I don't really want to use the um, dark colors from this palette to do the inner and outer corner like to make it more smoky just because they are super cool tone, honestly. They, I don't think they'll match very well at all. We do have the color right in the center, which could look okay. I might just take a tiny bit of that on a pencil brush and just try to smoke in the in and outer corner a little bit. Just right in the deepest part. It's very subtle. I think that color would look really nice just on its own all over the eyelid. And I do have a bit of fallout, so I'm just going to take my brush and just Flick it off as well as I can. It's kind of sticking to the moussey highlighter though. I'm just going to take some of the shimmery color on a blending brush and just smudge that underneath the lower lashes. I remember when I used to do looks like this all the time, like bright orange, just smoky eyes. <laughs> Not really orange, like more of a neutral terracotta orange, but still similar effect. If you have blue eyes as well, like these looks just make you look insane because it just like really brings out the blue. Same with like if you've got hazel or green eyes, like I don't know, it just like makes your eyes look so bright. Just any eye color even, like it's just brightening. I'm just going to take a little bit of the pinky color on my fingertip and just put that right on the ball of my eye to brighten up the center. I might even use a little bit of that just on the inner corner. Such a nice color, I really like that. And a little on the brow bone. Now I've got two different types of eyeliners, so I'm just going to pick whichever shade looks nicer. We've got this deep copper color, which honestly, I must have just 
got this color because I looked at the palette and saw similar shades and that could look cool or it might match too much I don't know and then we've got the buttercream one which is called rosé which is a little bit more like bronze but I almost do want to try this one so let's do it this is the starlet liquid eyeliner and it's in the shade paparazzi so once again one dollar oh the brush is so small like almost too small which you know is a rare thing to say because usually you would rather something smaller rather than larger but it literally looks like one single strand but hey let's try it I just feel like it's gonna take ages to get like you know a decent wing or line i'm gonna have to dip in again and go back in we're gonna have to just keep going back in for more product it is still easy to apply it's just a pain in the ass going back and forth back and forth back and forth i feel like nothing comes out on the brush like does it work yet but i can't imagine myself reaching for this a lot just because of how like annoying it is these are also one dollar so it comes sealed which is nice and here's how the product looks on the inside it looks very waxy look I just like dug into it and nothing came out on the brush. So how does this work? Like it's kind of like a putty, but hey, I'll do my best. Ugh, and it just like removed all of my eyeshadow where I put it. No, this is a no, absolutely not. I'm gonna go back in with this and like, I don't know, try to fix it. It almost felt like Vaseline or something. I still think that eye makeup looks really pretty. We do have mascara, but it's like the worst type of mascara for like, top lash let me explain i got this aoa skinny mascara this is actually for your under lashes like you know lower lash line because it's the only one that was in stock one dollar so i'm gonna have to try and do my top lashes with this too um it's in black and it looks like this it looks like the clinic lower lash mascara so let's just do the actual like lower lashes first Ooh, it's very like thick and kind of clay like like the Tarte Maracuja mascara is that what's called like camera lashes or whatever it's called I still love that mascara oh my god I haven't used it in a while it kind of reminds me of that kind of texture works so good I do feel like it would dry out so quick though because it already feels dried out like it doesn't feel fresh <laughs> I don't know yeah I could already tell like this was not gonna be the goods for the top lashes but I'll put it right in the root and then maybe I'll just use like a different mascara on top. Because these are still really good to get into that really close part. You know, like the very root of your eyelashes. You know, sometimes it can look a little bit like grey if you miss that area. You could sit here for ages and use like this mascara. But it's just, I can't be bothered doing that. I really like it on my lower lashes though. Lashes! So these are the Alexis 100% Natural Hair. Nice and long. Kind of gappy and crisscrossy. Like they look really pretty. So I'm going to measure these and pop them on. Um, so here is how they look before and after and I think they look really pretty they're really long kind of gappy so it almost looks kind of like eyelash extensions or something like that I think they're really pretty they look nice side on too the only thing was I feel like they were so sticky and quite like spiky to apply I don't know if that makes sense so it took me a little while to stick them down nicely and they kept getting like stuck on my skin but we got there in the end oh my god my stomach <laughs> We have the lipstick in the shade short. I'm gonna put mascara all over me from doing my lashes. So I want to use this just on the outer corners. Let's just like test it on our hand to see. Ooh, it's a pretty color. It's lighter than I thought it would be. It smells like sweet, like sugary vanilla. It's like too sweet almost and it feels very waxy like it doesn't feel very like good coverage does that make sense it feels almost like a balm or something like that then we have a liquid lipstick here this is in the shade fleek i think one dollar packaging's cute it's the same as the concealer i'm pretty sure i tried these back in the day it's very runny it smells weird i'm gonna just apply it all over I do think I still prefer this to the lipstick though. Like, even though it's super runny, I think if you put it on top of the lip liner, it'd be fine. And it's obviously going to dry down matte too. It says it's a matte liquid lipstick. Okay, so that is on. And now we do have a gloss. And I love glosses at the moment, you guys know. The gloss packaging is so cute. Like, this is probably one of the products I'm the most excited to try today. It's the Diamond Lip Gloss in Glitz. One dollar. It looks so stunning. Look at it. It's like a golden glittery kind of color can't smell it I don't think it smells like much oh I love it it's like pinky almost on top of this you see it it's so pretty this is exactly the kind of look I love in my lip glosses 
This is a solid yes from me as well. Looks really nice in that lip combo and with the eye makeup too. I think other than the fact that my face is the wrong colour for my chest, it actually came together really nicely. The copper colour underneath my eyes on my lower lash line did help to disguise a little bit of that dry concealer and the creasing, but it's still kind of visible. I'd say the only solid absolute hell no is the concealer. The powder is kind of like, I don't love it, but it still worked okay if you want coverage and stuff like that. Like it really got rid of my pores. It's just quite heavy. Even compared to like my MAC powder, which is quite heavy. Like I like that still, whereas this one just feels like uncomfortable on my skin, if that makes sense. Although I have to say I've kind of got used to it. I'd say the best things today are probably like the blush. I really liked the highlighter. I really like the liquid lipstick with the lip gloss on top. I really love the eyeshadows. The lashes are pretty. The primer seemed to work fine. The foundation was nice. I think most of it was pretty good. So hopefully that inspires you guys to try out something new. Like if you guys wanted to make an order, I'll list everything that I used today down below so that you can pick up some of the, you know, positive things that I liked. I'll even put like a little asterisk next to each product that I think are the best ones out of the list just to make it super easy for you. But yeah, I really love the eyeshadow color. I think this look came together really nicely and if it matched, you know, my body, if I wore like a turtleneck right now, like I don't even think you would guess that most of these products were $1. Like I think that's pretty dope. If you enjoyed it and want to see more videos with cheap makeup, let me know which brands you want to see and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!